I'm Natalie Bryla, one of the founders of ANSA. ANSA is the safest place to be yourself and share with friends. See, there's a real problem with the way we communicate today. The messages we send our friends are being permanently recorded, and that's not always a good thing. Sometimes, we just want to let go and communicate freely without leaving a record behind. I bet everyone out here has sent a message or a text they wish would disappear. Maybe you got rid of it on your side, but even if you did, the person you sent it to still has a copy. The permanency of everything we share is just not natural. We don't record every word that's said when we're talking in person, so why do we have to when we're talking online? Sure, we have apps that let us send disappearing photos and videos, but try having a conversation that way. You can't dish about the guy you're dating or make secret plans with a friend. All you can do is share a picture of what you're doing right now and hope for something in return. But the weird thing is, most of the time, nobody responds. I mean, you can't blame them. You can't even say, I like that, without sending an awkward photo back. It's time for a better solution. ANSA is the only messenger designed to let you communicate like you do in person. Want to chat discreetly without leaving a record behind? Done. Click one button to go off the record, and your whole conversation will disappear from both people's phones. Want to share a photo, but only for a few seconds? Easy. Upload it or snap one, set the self-destruct timer, and it will automatically disappear seconds after viewing. Wish you could take back that text you sent? Easy. With sync deletion, you can. Just erase the message from your side, and it will automatically be removed from your friend's phone, too. With ANSA, you can finally let go, be yourself, and communicate without worrying about the record you leave behind. Meet Lauren. Lauren uses ANSA to communicate with all her friends. She just got back from a date with Tom, and she wants to tell Rachel some juicy details without them getting back to anyone else. So she goes off the record. When she does this, Rachel is notified of the change, and both phones begin automatically erasing every message that's sent. Lauren knows she's safe to chat, so she tells Rachel about the awkward kiss goodnight and gets advice on whether or not she should see Tom again. As they chat, the messages disappear, and when she's done, she was able to get secret advice without worrying about a record being left behind. A few weeks later, Lauren and Tom are officially in a relationship. Tom's not feeling well, so Lauren decides to send him an image that will cheer him up. She doesn't want it to last forever, so she sets the self-destruct timer and sends. When Tom gets the picture, he opens it, and the timer starts counting down. When the clock hits zero, the photo is erased and disappears forever. Tom really appreciates this, so he decides to reciprocate by sending a photo back of himself in bed. When he goes to send it to Lauren, he accidentally hits Lawrence and ends up sending a mushy photo to his guy friend. He's pretty embarrassed and his friend's making fun of him, so he decides to take it back. He just erases the message from his own phone and it's automatically removed from his friend's phone too. With sync deletion, he's able to take back the message he already shared. ANSA is designed so you can have fun with friends. You can edit, filter, and doodle on pictures. You can search and send Google images and YouTube videos. And you can make colorful drawings. ANSA has all the features of a rich media messenger with the added benefit of control. In addition, to allowing you to choose how long your messages exist, we make every effort to keep your personal conversations private. We encrypt all of your messages and erase everything you do. So if you get rid of a message, we erase it from the server and from every device it was delivered to. And if somebody takes a screenshot of your conversation, we instantly notify you and send you a copy of the image that was captured. 
Although we're focused on growth right now, in the future, we plan to monetize by building an ephemeral ad platform. Imagine getting a self-destructing message from Starbucks saying drinks are half off from 3 to 4 today. Starbucks would get additional traffic during their slow time, and you would save money. I know I'd click, but none of that matters until we have users. So let's talk distribution. We are launching ANSA on college campuses because students need a safer place to share. By the end of the year, we plan to have campus representatives on 25 colleges in California. In addition to targeted advertisements, promotional giveaways, and strategic partnership development, we plan to introduce ANSA by sponsoring fun events that help people connect. At the end of the day, that's really what we're here for. We're making it easy for you to be yourself and connect with the people you care about. So today, I welcome you to download ANSA on Android and iOS at ANSA.com and start chatting like you do in person. All right. Great job. Judges? So I guess the, um, the, I'll just call out the obvious. I know that Snapchat was on stage today and talked about you know, 350 million photos being shared daily now. Um, you know, when you guys get up in the morning, what is, what is your aspirational message to yourself around being in a market that, that is, you know, clearly dominated by a few players right now? Well, I think Snapchat's done a really great job with photo sharing, but that's where they've left off. And personally, I need more. And if my app was here, I wouldn't be building it. Uh, but it's not. So every day I wake up and I build something that solves my own problem. And why do you think they won't? be adding adjacencies to their product? They're not built that way. They would have to make so many changes. They are a photo sharing application. They're all about communicating with images. Um, and I think this is kind of like Instagram doing video. It's just not what they are, and people don't really appreciate it. I think it would be a slow adoption curve. What data or indications do you have that the user community is not currently served by Snapchat? So it sounds like this is a problem you have. Mm -hmm. What data do you have to suggest how big that opportunity is uh, outside of, of the group that you're developing for right now? Well, I think it's been pretty interesting talking to different groups of people. I think Snapchat's really targeted in at younger, a younger group of um, students and you know, just younger people in general. But um, when I've been talking to older people, they really get this. They say, I don't use Snapchat. I don't want to use Snapchat. This is silly. But I really love your app. I am dating again. I don't want a record left behind of everything I say. I just don't think it's natural. So I feel like there's a whole other group of people that need something like this. I, I, really, I'm, I guess I'm in that group, because I would never use Snapchat. But I, as, I, as we were looking at this, I was thinking, huh, I might use this. Yeah. Um, I like the UI, and it's really clean. Um, can you talk a little bit more about the architecture of how this is built? Uh, the devil is often in the details in some of these, these things. It sounds like there is a server component that's holding, holding my messages. It's not just purely peer-to-peer -peer, um, between right. that. Talk about where, where are copies of met Like, if this became something that I truly trusted for business communication, um, walk me through why I should trust it. We only keep what you do, as I mentioned in the presentation. So if you erase a message, uh, even though it was stored on the server for a second, the minute you do that, we get rid of it. So there is no trace left behind. Are, are, you, are you storing it in such a way, could a ANSA employee, before I erase a message, read my message? No. It's encrypted, and we can't even see it. So can you just talk more about how, how messages get passed around and where they're sure. stored? So when you send a message, it does go to the server and then get delivered. And let's say you do sync delete then it would be um, removed from the server, which then sends out a message to remove it locally from the client, the other person's phone. And then as soon as that happens, it's taken back. And then if someone else's phone is offline when I delete it, how does it know? If, so if I just put my phone in airplane mode, I assume you can't delete the message from, from the phone? Right. So that message would be stored, or that order would be stored on the server. And as soon as your phone was live, then we would do it for you. And the same thing, if your friend was offline, then as soon as they were offline, the message would be uh, taken away. Can you talk about the background of the founders? What were you guys doing before you started this? So before this, I founded another startup called Best Friend Box, and it was a subscription service for your pets. 
So I've always been solving problems that I'm passionate about, and this just is the next one, and it's a, it's a big one for me. It's something I'm very passionate about. And you're going to start with college campuses from yes. a distribution standpoint. Yes. How many, and do you, have you tested it at all? Have you gone to any campuses and tested the messaging? It's uh, just very brief, but we're starting that and looking forward to exploring more. Okay. Um, so you mentioned sort of there could be an older demo for the product, but you're going to start at college campuses. Mm -hmm. um, just in terms of your goals through that program, uh, you know, are you going to be measuring um, acquisition, retention? What are going to be the success metrics for that college campus strategy? As you mentioned, acquisition and retention are major things. Uh, we really, at this point, are pretty young, so we need to get some feedback and make sure we're doing everything right, and then we'll go from there. Which, how, so let's say that I, I want to send a message to, so I get ANSA, I want to send it to someone else. What, how does the virality of the product work? So you know, when you, these things first get started, mm -hmm. it only works as soon as it, both sides have the, have the system in place. How, how does that initial so setup That's work? not actually the case here. You can send messages to anybody in your contact list, even if they don't have ANSA. The catch is they have to download ANSA to view it. But you can send them. How does, so how do they get notified that they? That they get a text. Okay. So it's all through text. And um, this is also connected to your Facebook account. Um, so you have your contacts, who are so theoretically the closest people to you, and then also your Facebook friends. And you can pull from them and send messages. Any other questions? All right. Great job. That was ANSA. Thank you, guys. Thank you.